views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Welcome to Angel Healing House Radio. My name is Claire Candy Hoff. Through my business, Angel Healing House, which can be found at angelhealinghouse.com. I'm a writer and an author, an international radio host, a Reiki master teacher, and an angel practitioner. My inspirational books entitled Angels of Faith and One True Home Behind the Veil of Forgetfulness and my autobiography, I Am an Angelic Walk-In, are based on my recollections of our life in spirit, and they help us to remember our divine, eternal natures. Through Angel Healing House, I help people to let go of sadness, anger, bitterness, resentment, and regret that has kept them locked in the prison of the past, and I help them to let go of worry, stress, and control which has kept them focused on an imagined future. And once they are no longer living in the past or the future, they can start to live in the present moment, which is the only place that they can experience synchronicities, miracles, and magic. As an angel practitioner, I help people to see their lives from a higher perspective with the help of an extraordinary group of angels who call themselves the Posse of Angels. Just like my angelic family, the Posse of Angels, I'm very excited to take some of your calls for that free angel advice. You can call into the show on 1-800-930-2819. But before we get to those callers, welcome everyone to Angel Healing House Radio with myself, Claire Candy Hoff. You know, I am so excited today to announce that today is the relaunch of my wonderful channeled novel, which is One True Home Behind the Veil of Forgetfulness. Um, And uh, this book is available today for only 24 hours. The Kindle download version is discounted to the ridiculously low price of $1.00. On Amazon. Now, this uh, Kindle version is for iPhones, iPads, smartphones, and also tablets. So hop on over to Amazon and, uh, and get this, uh, this remarkable book um, for only one dollar. Now, um, uh, many, um, many may not know that uh, One True Home Behind the Veil of Forgetfulness is actually the prequel to my book, One, uh, I Am an Angelic Walk-In, which became a number one international bestseller, going uh, number one in a USA, in Canada, Australia, Germany, and the UK last month. But um, One True Home Behind the Veil of Forgetfulness uh, speaks about my five most important past lives and how I was challenged And uh, I learned from those challenging lessons to ascend and enlighten uh, to the angel, Angel Ariel, who I am today. So, um, and it also speaks about not just those fast, those five past incarnations, which were most important to me, but also the lives that I lived in between those lives. Uh, across the veil in heaven in our one true home. So as I said, hop on over to Amazon and you can download the Kindle version of this book for only $1. Please share that with others. It is a very busy week here at uh, Angel Healing House because tomorrow I will be going into the recording studio to record the audio book of I Am an Angelic Walk-In. And so um, not only can people read um, the story about um, the last... uh, 
uh, well, not the last 14 years, but all about my angelic walk-in experience and how it's helped me to create heaven on earth. Um, But uh, they can listen to uh, that story as well. Actually, it's my autobiography. So without further ado, with all of this swirling of energies here, let's get on to the topic which the Posse of Angels are entitling Expect the Unexpected. So let's see what this one's all about. Looking back over my journey these past 14 years since my angelic walk-in experience in January of 2003, you know, listeners, I can clearly see that everything that manifested in my life was a result of one thing and one thing only, and it didn't have to do with luck. It was because I held and I focused on the intention and the desire for something to happen. Yet when I look back, not at the ultimate fulfillment of any desire that I had, but the way or the how that that expectation was fulfilled, it was absolutely nothing like the way that I thought it would come about. Now, the Posse of Angels is reminding us that being pure spirit, essence of source, we are pure, abundant potential. In other words, all we are is the energy of desire. If we are consciously creating our realities, we make sure to put our desires on that which we want instead of perpetually putting our focus on what we do not have what lacks in our life or what we do not want. Yet as the Posse of Angels and I have mentioned on this program countless times, the how and the when of our expectations and our wishes manifesting for us, that's not our providence, for it's the providence of God and the angels, and it's for the greatest good of our soul's growth and the greatest good of all concerned. And you know what? If we take on the role of doing things in order to make things happen, life just becomes too hard. It becomes difficult, and we feel like we are pushing rather than opening to receive uh, the signs on how to step forward from God and the angels. And uh, these signs uh, from God and the angels are often in limitless and unrestricted ways uh, because, uh, you know, they uh, work in the realms of synchronicities, miracles, and magic coming together in ways that our often limited linear minds can't possibly ever imagine or even push to happen things occurring. So how do we not get caught up in the how and the when of things working out for us? Well, one of my favorite sayings that has helped me release attachment as to what should or ought to or has to happen in my life, I say out loud, I expect the best without having expectations. And the posse of angels, they're nodding their collective heads and saying that as we as a collective, as a conscious awakened collective, as we move more into October 2017, it And during this time, it will be a doozy for many of us as we will see huge changes in our lives, which will mirror who we authentically have become. And this is a result of all the changes that we have made in our lives. You know, when you think back over the last six months, the last year, the last years, think back to how many changes you've made in... um, clearing and cleansing uh, your life, perhaps, of, uh, of relationships that weren't uh, honoring and respectful, maybe cleaning and detoxing our bodies, uh, perhaps uh, finding work that was um, 
you know, made us more happy and more was honorable and we were more passionate about. Just think about the myriad of changes that we have been through and how we have changed in the, to the person we authentically are today. You know, if you are having some problem with changes for some direction and clarity, how to change different aspects of your life, please go on the archive to the archive shows on the Angel Healing House Radio Transformation Talk Radio host page of myself, Claire Candy Hoff, and look up the show which was entitled Welcome Change into your life because the posse of angels and I know that change is not easy for many people. But because there were so many changes in our lives, the posse of angels is asking us to practice what they call the art of allowance and to be flexible. Now, in uh, describing the art of allowance, they are reminding all of us that the trees that survive the harshest of storms bend in the breeze and they live another uh, day to, uh, to grow, to sprout their seeds. This fall in the northern hemisphere and spring in the summer, southern hemisphere, do not be so set on timetables, on schedules, on dates and times, but rather see your dreams unfolding as a work in progress. You know, those of us that uh, say, oh, okay, I changed all these things in my life, <coughs> excuse me, and, and, and now things must happen, well, you're going to be sadly disappointed because um, now that we are entering into the higher dimensional frequencies of the fifth dimension, things don't work out to schedule, to even feel good about all the changes that will be on the horizon for many of us. We can actually set the intention that we welcome change, and we can even say this aloud. <clears throat> okay, get your bo best voice on and say, everything always works out for the best for me in the most divine timing, no matter what. Now, let's all say that again. Everything always works out for the best for me in the most divine timing, no matter what. I don't know about you, but when I can't figure something out in life and being a Libra and being very analytical, uh, we can't help. Uh, we try to, but, you know, it's very difficult for us not to analyze things. When I say everything always works out for the best for me in the most divine timing, no matter what, it just makes me feel better. And it is this held attitude and intention that will be an all-important part of us to either love this journey that we will be stepping into as we go into October 2017. And it will have us feeling excited and motivated. But if we are still pushing and controlling for things to happen on schedule, we are going to be sadly disappointed. And, and also many of us are going to feel like we're not making progress, things are not working out for us, that we're stagnant. And when we allow those energies into our lives, um, then we get more of the same. We get more uh, disappointment. We get more instances in front of us of things not working out. Um, and I know which one I would rather choose. Now, this time that we're in after the solar eclipse and the important Mercury retrograde that we experienced just this past month, well, the, it, this time is very different as it is all about our heartfelt initiative to engage with life and experience and have fun and allow ourselves to be enchanted by being a part of life's constantly changing energies in the fifth dimension. As there is no time in the fifth dimension and our rate of manifestation is instantaneous, 
We get to be sculptors as we mold and create wonderful lives through our passion and our wonderment. And don't forget about being curious. These energies are supporting us in painting, in in doing many creative efforts, like painting that picture, doing things like creating our own radio programs, taking up a musical instrument, write your novel that you have an idea for, or anything else that makes your heart creatively sing and dance. And, you know, listeners, the funny thing about all of this is that those people who say that they don't have time for their creative pursuits as they're very busy and they must go to business networking groups or spend more time on social marketing, they do not realize that the energies that we are experiencing now as a collective is a major game changer for the old ways that we used to do things. In fact, the posse of angels is saying that the old ways of living, which they mean our daily schedules, our ordered ways of living, uh, which were very rigid, they're so outmoded and that they no longer resonate with these new energies that the collective is in. In fact, not only will schedules be turned on their heads, But long-held dreams, desires, and wishes will be manifesting in ways that will be absolutely beyond our belief. Now, for many of us, out-of-the-blue connections, opportunities, and events will appear as if by magic. And they will bring in an abundance and a richness to our lives that fulfill our past intentions and desires and dreams. Now, the Posse of Angels really want to make it clear here that things will appear out of the ethers for those who previously put their time, their energy, and their enthusiasm and passion into taking inspired action to creating something. You know, they're reminding us that it's the energy of intention and effort and focus that we put into that heartfelt dream uh, that will realize that that uh, will be realized in these energies. So um, uh, uh, I love the expression energy in, energy out, um, even though there is the possibility of those things magic, magically manifesting um, in October and onwards if we haven't put the energy in we can't really expect the equal energy on the other side. So, but it is never too late. It is never too late to pursue a creative passion and to start putting that energy and taking inspired action to your heartfelt dreams. Now, the Posse of Angels is promising us with, um, and it's presenting us with a caution here, Do not allow old habits to stop you from stepping forward and taking that inspired action when something is presented to you seemingly out of nowhere. You know, don't allow things like doubt or worry or fear to stop you from stepping forward into possibly your own pot of a golden opportunity. Just because you haven't done something before does not mean that you cannot do it. The Posse of Angels is saying that the simplest rule for us to follow as September turns into October is just trust whatever shows up for you with enthusiasm, appreciation, and great excitement. The doors of abundance are now open and the granting of wishes is available to all of us. But as we know, our vibrational frequency must be high enough to match the um, vibrational frequency of the universe in order for that manifestation to take place. So with all of this in mind, the Posse of Angels is saying that it would be in all of our best interests if we dreamed big. And they mean really, really dream big because those doors of abundance are opened as the conscious collective have shifted and our vibrational frequency has gotten higher. 
Now, in order to be just like those flexible bamboo trees going whichever way the wind is blowing them and not snapping by being rigid and attached to outcomes, it's so very important to keep our energies high and bright and positive and optimistic no matter what. In fact, if something works out or if it doesn't work out as we expected, both outcomes are great. Hold that intention in your heart to expect the people, the situations, the connections and opportunities to magically open doors for you. And voila, it will happen just as long as we let go of expectations and we're not attached to the how and when of it happening. This is certainly the month to get your dreamer on and to really be as creatively expressive as you can possibly be. So if you can become comfortable with not knowing what is around the corner, and I know that is, that's not comfortable for many people, then you will be fine by letting go of whatever you thought life had to look like or should have looked like or had to have looked like uh, by a certain stage of your life, by a certain age that you are, you'll be able to not only navigate these whirling, changeable energies, but it will keep you in good stead for the rest of this magical year by letting go of everything and anything that you expected to happen You create space for the most extraordinary, convoluted, amazing synchronicities to appear right before your eyes. Now, the Posse of Angels is saying that the possibility of it happening depends only if we play our part by being flexible, open, and willing to receive in all kinds of ways, again, without attachment. Now, do remember that with so much changing this fall and spring in the Northern Hemisphere, for instance, things that might change are where we live, our careers, our jobs, our lifestyle. Many of us will be opening up to having new relationships, certainly with others, but what? But most importantly, with ourselves, by letting go of limitation and opening up to the possibility of the fulfillment of our dreams we will begin to manifest new relationships that provide support for our projects and our ideas. So do not be surprised if just the right people magically appear that have the exact skills and abilities are in just the right positions to magically open those doors for us for the fulfillment of our dreams. And with these energies bringing us helpful, supportive people, Again, do not be surprised if we see people from our past coming back to help us. In fact, by holding one's energy high and bright, we'll be drawing to ourselves groups of like-minded people that have the same energetic frequency uh, and that are, are in the same alignment as we are in. Now, the Posse of Angels is sharing that many of us have projects, have books, have ideas that we tried to get off the ground. We tried to launch them in the past, but all attempts to share them with the world were halted. It was like they were dead in the water. But they want us to know some very exciting news concerning them. You know, you may experience opportunities that miraculously manifest to not only breathe new life into those heartfelt projects, but new connections manifesting in your reality that step forward to promote you and your ideas for you to now share and shine your talents out into the world. You know, everyone, I do not hide my excitement, and I can tell you it is a very exciting time for those who have believed in our dreams. With these forward-moving energies of support, many of us will experience quite a number of things manifesting for us all at once. Don't be overwhelmed. Follow the thread of the one that seems to carry the most synchronicity, the perfect timing, the support 
the creativity and inspiration. And by all means, do follow your intuition. The new projects and partnerships that are now entering into our life should never be a compromise to our sense of integrity and to the bigger picture now of who you are. And uh, there's just a, a final note here from the Posse of Angels. Just because you are presented with something, and many of us have felt like we have been in a void for a very long time, just because you're presented something doesn't mean you should take it. If it's in integrity, if it's in direct alignment with who you authentically are, and it is not a compromise, and it is not settling for less than you so richly deserve now, follow your intuition, step forward into those wonderful new doors which are opening for all of us. Again, you've been listening to me, Claire Candy Hoff, on the wonderful Angel Healing House Radio. We are going to take a short break, and on the other side, we'll take some of your calls for those free angel readings. If you want an angel reading, you can call into the show on 1-800-930-2819. We'll see you in a few minutes. Have you discovered the remarkable books at angelhealinghouse.com? Author Claire Candy Hoff has channeled rare books of inspiration and insight. Angels of Faith is an inspiring story of healing, comfort, and hope that reminds us that death is not to be feared, but embraced with joy. One True Home Behind the Veil of Forgetfulness takes readers on a roller coaster ride through Angel Ariel's five most important lives on Earth, as well as her experiences in the afterlife, and helps us remember our own journey across the veil. And Claire Candy's autobiography, I Am an Angelic Walk In, which details the 2003 soul exchange that took place when Claire Candy walked out of her body and Angel Ariel walked in, creating heaven on earth for herself and others. To find out more about these wonderful books, visit angelhealinghouse.com today. To see your life from an angel's perspective, book a personal consultation with Claire Candy Hoff, angelic walk-in angel Ariel at Angel Healing House. Candy provides intuitive counseling, Reiki, and angel readings in person in Los Angeles or nationally and internationally via phone or Skype. She will channel the practical tools you need to transform your life. Call now, 831-277-3716 or visit angelhealinghouse.com. Welcome back to Angel Healing House Radio with myself, Claire Candy Hoff. And today is a very, very exciting day for us here at Angel Healing House because it is uh, the relaunch today, September 19th, 2017, of my remarkable channeled novel, One True Home Behind the Veil of Forgetfulness. And only for today, for 24 hours, uh, will this Amazon Kindle version of this book be available for a download for only one dollar. Now, to get in on this ridiculously low price for this book, only for today, uh, go to the Amazon site and um, and and download it, and you can find out about my five most important past lives, um, how I enlightened in those lives to become the angel, Angel Ariel, who I am today. So hop on Amazon. So we've got uh, a few callers. Um, let's go to the phone lines and uh, see who we've got on the lines. Okay, our first caller is Beth from California. Beth, you're on the line with myself, Claire Candy Hoff, and Angel Healing House Radio. How are you today? I'm doing great. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And how are things in your life? Great! Congratulations on the going on the book today, uh, launching that. That's a great book. I love that book. It's a oh, wonderful thank book. You. I'm so 
imagine providing that to other people at a discount. That's wonderful. Oh, isn't that lovely? Thank you so much. Yes, we're very excited about uh, that's where uh, that's where it all started for Ariel before I became Angel Ariel, and uh, and uh, way 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 before uh, my angelic walk-in experience that I speak about in my autobiography. I'm an angelic walk-in. So, um, what question do you have today, Beth? Um, I just want to know what the angels are saying. I had an experience. You, your talk today was about to not expect and that things can happen from anywhere. And I just had an experience where I just let it go. And I just, um, my intention was to just take my message and my book to the general public and um, didn't know how that was going to happen. And we were doing a press release on Monday, yesterday. And then last Friday, I got a call for a great opportunity for something to do with the Huffington Post. And so I would, that's not something I would ever have expected. And, um, and I was scared and was hesitant because it didn't seem to line up with what I thought. And then I stepped back from it and was able to be given information from the spirit to be able to make sure that I could participate in it. And I let myself do it. And so that energy is so true that you're talking about, about just things coming from someplace unexpectedly and just being able to be in a space of allowing. It's just like, so magical. So I just want to know if there's any other message. Yes, the, f the first thing that they're saying is that um, the reason that this happened was because, and I'm just getting shivers all over, is because you changed so dramatically in um, letting go of attachment as to how things, um, uh, you know, how, how things showed up in your life, and it showed you how how you are now open to receive. Um, uh, they they're saying that um, uh, now that you're open to receive, they all they want you, and they're saying you as the collective we. They want us to know that um, we have many of us who have been very attentive um, and have brought forth our, the, or, you know, done our creative projects, all we need to do really is to show up now. Um, and when we are presented with something, as the Posse of Angels said, if, we're, if it excites us, um, if it uh, makes us all wiggly and happy and, you know, we get goosebumps or, you know, we get that, um, that inspiration in us to step forward, that's all we have to do. And we will have the wherewithal now to be able to bring forth the information. You know, uh, it was a, a little while ago that I was called up and asked to be a... Um, a participant on a Beyond the Pain Summit, um, and uh, and I thought, oh well, you know, um, definitely I could talk about Reiki, but uh, so much of that interview was spent on uh, on the emotional aspect of the underlying cause of of pain, and uh, and and bringing forth the correlation between our emotional state and our physical state, um, and uh, and that was something that. I wouldn't have uh, sought out to do myself. So they're very proud of you that you're now open to receive and uh, and to shine your light in all different kinds of facets where the um, where the universe is now able to find you. Whereas before things were a little bit closed off because you spent. Um, a lot of your time analyzing things and trying to figure out different angles. And we don't need to do that anymore. So, so well done to you. Let's go to the cards. And they're saying to expect the unexpected now that you've been shown this and you came through with flying colors, uh, there will be other things that, that they will be sending you for you to step into. Uh, this, this first, uh, um, uh, the first card for you is, and I always forget that I'm on camera as well. Here's the card. It's the King of Autumn in this deck, which is the King of Pentacles. And and they want you to know that um, uh, don't forget to value your services as well because there has to be an exchange of energy. There will be things that you will be stepping into. Yes, it's about the message, but there must be an energy exchange um, and to value your time, 
to value your effort and to value your wisdom and your knowledge. Um, uh, and this may be this this may be um, charging, which a lot of people do have um, trouble with, um, even if they don't. The, no, need the money per se, um, they could always, uh, you know, charge a nominal fee for it and then set up a charity or trust to give the money to. But but people do not value it as much um, if it's just uh, given away. And this way you value your time and your effort and your energy. Uh, the next card uh, wow. for you is uh, the Five of Cups. Um, uh, the Five of Cups is, is the card of... Um, of again, lacking um, and feeling that uh, you may not be remunerated for your time and effort. So th this is a really strong message for you, um, <laughs> and uh, it really is because they uh, they're saying, oh, they like the idea, they like that idea, <laughs> they like their own idea of setting up a charity or a bank account where you put the money in, you can uh, you know uh, see it grow, and then uh, and then. Uh, um, establish a charity um, for it and the interest of it. Uh, the Four of Cups, uh, now this is the card of opening yourself up to receive, and that indeed is what you've done. So um, I'm very proud of you. You should be very proud of yourself and uh, expect the unexpected. Now that you've taken this first step, uh, more will come in. So I hope that's been helpful. Oh, my God, it's right on the number, right on. We were literally yesterday talking about my husband was saying that I'm not, I, I'm not, I got two new clients this week and then I'm undercharging and I'm like, well, I don't, it's not about money, it's about helping people. So it's like right there about dialogue I was having yesterday. So thank you so much. You're very welcome. And you know what? Um, the Posse of Angels are already anticipating you having fun setting up uh, that bank account, and it doesn't have to be one charity, but you could uh, you could establish you know um, you know an area or or several areas in which you give the money to, and that abundant feeling of being able to help in that way will increase more abundance coming into you. So have fun with it. Thank you so much, Angel. I love you. Take care. Bye bye. Love you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you so much, Beth. And that is a great reminder for all of us. Um, you know that uh, a lot of this stuff may come easy to some people. You know, whether it's opening up to channel, whether it's mediumship, whether it's um, um, our psychic awareness. We're all psychic. You know, it's just uh, whether we're o we open ourselves up and we uh, put our focus and attention on that gift of ours and developing it. Um, but, you know, uh, we all must feel like we value, we are valued for our time and our effort and our energy. So if you are in a position where you do not need the money and you are doing this work, perhaps you can do like Beth will be doing and to set up a bank account and then where is the money going to go? Maybe you could have fun. Maybe you could go down to an, uh, an animal shelter and say, I would like to present you with a check for this, uh, for this wonderful, um, you know, for the wonderful work you're doing. Um, it could be a number of different areas. So let's go to our next caller. We've got Tucson, Arizona. Sue, you're on the line with myself, Claire Candy Hoff and Angel Healing House Radio. How are you today, Sue? Hi. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm, I'm great. I'm great. How, how are you today? I'm very, very well. <laughs> I, I, love your, I love your excited energy. <laughs> well, and it's so funny because there must have been a little glitch because I I heard what you were saying about set up the bank account and then all of a sudden, Sue, it's like, oh my gosh, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> so what's been happening in your life? Well, you know, in some respects, there's a lot of things going on and in some respects, there's not a lot. Um, I recently moved just two months ago. I moved... Um, down to southern Arizona from northern Arizona, and it's 
there's been a lot of shifting and changes for me, a lot of um, interesting critters that show up in my yard that um, I've never seen before and have had to call the fire department on and all kinds of fun things like that. What are um, some of the critters? Also <laughs> well, the first day there was a tarantula, and oh. it was attacked and killed and dragged off by a tarantula hawk. Oh my Which, gosh! I had never heard of that, but it's a it's a um, a wasp, some kind of a wasp, and that's what they do. Mm. And I've seen a rattlesnake, and then I and that was just in somebody else's yard. And then just a few days after that, there was actually a, a rattlesnake in my yard. He was like four and a half feet from me as I was reading a book. Didn't realize he was there. Got up to unplugged something and realized, oh, my gosh, he's there. So I had to have the fire department come and remove him. But he was he was wounded is what they said. So I think that he was coming to be in my energy more than to scare me. Mm. And then the other, the other kind of scary thing was a, a wolf spider that um, oh. I captured and took someplace else because I didn't want him in my yard. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So... Yeah, it's and been quite an quite an exciting lived, move. <laughs> it, it is, and people that have been here, you know, for many many years, have never seen any of these things, and I've seen them all within a matter of really two months. Well, if you're getting that many signs from our wonderful animal friends, um, then they're very pertinent, and I'm just getting shocks on that. Yeah. Um, Spiders, spiders are about weaving our dreams. Um, I asked them uh, if this move was um, uh, bringing you closer or to the fulfillment or the manifestation of the fulfillment of your dreams, and they're saying yes, and that's why you were led here. Um, a hawk is a messenger, um, and for a hawk to get the spider, I mean, it, it's really uh, asking you if you are um, nourishing and nurturing and attending to your dreams. And of course, the snake is a, is all about transforming. So mm -hmm. this is a this is a really important move uh, for you, Sue. You know, and the, the hawk, it wasn't. Um, it was a it's a a wasp, but the name of it is pet. Uh, a tarantula hawk. It's about, I don't know, three inches long. It's And it sounds like a helicopter. It really does. Oh and gosh. I hadn't thought about looking at the aspects of a hawk because it's in the name. Even though with the wolf spider, I did look up wolf as well as the spider. Mm -hmm. So, yes, it's very interesting. And, and I have been paying attention. I have been looking at... Um, you know, the meanings of the animals. And I have actually after a couple of days after they got the rattlesnake out, I did a meditation with the rattlesnake and asked, okay, why were you here? <laughs> and please don't come back in my yard and tell all of the relatives, <laughs> please stay out of my yard. <laughs> <laughs> thank, thank you for the message, but uh, stay away. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yes, very, very powerful, very powerful signs uh, that uh, mm -hmm. that you are in a very spiritual place and you're you're being supported there. Yeah, definitely. I do. So, yeah, I, I do feel that. Definitely. So what what question did you have for the posse of angels? Um, I think more just a, I mean, some of this, what you just said, answers. But even about, okay, because I know I'm, I'm not here for very long. I'm here for another three months for sure, and then I'm not sure where I'm going. So I guess to help me transform to where I'm going, am I doing the right things? Is there anything else that I need to be doing that I'm not? Okay. Um, first, first of all, um, we are always where we're meant to be. If, uh, and the, the posse of angels laugh when I say this, but they, they're not allowed to interfere with free will, but they really do have enough, enough weaponry in their arsenal to make it very difficult to block us 
uh, from going to certain places. Um, that doesn't mean that with our free will, we can't push our way to get there. But when we get there, we're going to feel that it's a compromise. We're going to feel awful. And uh, that's not your situation. So you are divinely meant to be there. The reason that you haven't fa um, uh, uh, been given and shown the signs on where to go next is because it's not the right timing for that. Okay. Um, you are only there for a short time and you, and that will unfold, that will unfold and be shown to you. Mm -hmm. Um, a lot of times we are meant to move, uh, to one place, um, to just, um, have, you know, share some information or receive some information with just one person. And then that one person tells us of a wonderful opportunity someplace else for us and we up and go. So uh, this is a great topic today uh, con uh, concerning, mm -hmm. you know, your question about expect the unexpected, you know, <laughs> know, know that you're always where you're meant to be and, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, affirm that to spirit, but excuse me, yes. <clears throat> by saying, um, you know, okay, uh, I'm here. I'm on a need to know basis. Um, when it's time for me to leave, uh, you show me the signs and I will, you know, um, take that to heart and I will be up mm -hmm. and gone. But until then, I know I'm here for a reason. And so be open, really open to receive those, uh, uh, those signs. Um, uh, let, are you doing anything actively to, uh, Okay, what are they showing me? Are they, okay, they're showing me, they're showing me you sketching something. Are you, an, uh, uh, well, everyone's an artist, but do you sketch? I, I don't, however, um, several months ago, probably six months ago now, I had very quickly four cards come out that I, I drew with, I don't know, color or chalk or something, and I knew that they were very powerful. I knew that they, I, I know that they will lead to something. I don't know what that is, but in fact, I just pulled those out just like at, at the beginning of your show. I pulled those out. They're sitting there and because I know I need to do something with them. Okay, that's what they're that's what they're speaking about. They're speaking about this is this is a deck of cards that you're going to be making, okay? Mm -hmm. um, and that's and that's also why the rattlesnake and the tarantula and the wolf spider they're all coming. Oh, I'm just getting shivers. They're all coming in to help you um, as messengers. Um, mm -hmm. uh, that you will be sketching on these cards and they're saying you have to sketch them. Don't look for a, uh, um, another artist. I just went through this, uh, after having, uh, illustrators, uh, been blocked from me left, right and center, uh, for, um, an Oracle deck that I created years ago. And finally I said, well, if it's, you're going to block me, I'm going to do it myself. And I just finished illustrating my own deck of cards. And they're saying that that's, <laughs> and that's where you are at too. It's going to be a beautiful deck. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to write the meanings of the, of the animals and uh, utilize this time. I'm not saying you're there, you're not, you're um, not there for another purpose, but this is going to be a great time creatively for you as you get in touch with this, these beautiful, beautiful um, beings that are all coming in to help you. Okay, your first mm -hmm. card is the King of Cups. Um, allow yourself to get immersed in these energies. Um, you know, uh, allow yourself to be of the desert, to be one with the desert, and you'll be able to see more. Uh, more things will then uh, and you're open to receive, will we'll just blossom in front of your eyes. This showing me flowers on a cactus. Um, the next mm -hmm. card is the world card. Now, the world card is the world, is your oyster card. You're going to be beginning this, uh, 
the physical manifestation of bringing these cards into reality. And the next card for you is the Hermit card. Uh, the Hermit card is you kind of being sequestered away in this uh, alternative reality of this beautiful desert world to be able to bring forth these cards. And then uh, when this is finished, um, then you'll be presented with which w uh, with where to go next. So I'm very excited for you, Sue, and I hope that's been helpful. Um, absolutely, Claire. And that, oh my gosh, I, I just, fabulous. Thank you so much. It, it really has helped. A lot. You're very welcome. Say hi, say hi to the snakes and the tarantulas. <laughs> okay, I will. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> thank you so much, Sue, and thank you for the tarantulas, the wolf spider, the snake, and the tarantula hawk for coming in. Okay, now let's go to Julia. We have Julia in Florida. Julia, how are you? Hi, doing well. How are you? Happy birthday to you. <laughs> thank Happy you. birthday to you, even though it was past Saturday. <laughs> and <laughs> and I understand that you would <laughs> happy birthday, dear Julia. Happy birthday to you. So um, I understand <laughs> the posse of angels are saying they have a much better voice than I do. Um, uh, I understand you would like a birthday message of what's coming up for yes, you please. this year. Okay. <laughs> well, the the, the birthdays. Birthdays are a great opportunity for us to look back and see how much work we've done and, and what has brought us to this current state. They want, they're very proud of you with all the changes that you have been through. And, the, and at the youngster, the youngster age of 56, um, you are really just getting started. So they really want you to know that the world is your oyster as well and that uh, what Julia wants is only what the universe desires. So um, they want you to make your birthday list um, and then release all expectations and just say thank you. Thank you, angels. Thank you, God. Um, I know that as soon as I have a desire or wish, it manifests on the etheric plane for the greatest good of myself and all, and I will just hold my vibrations high and, uh, be, pa and be passionate and enthusiastic about living my life and taking inspired action towards my dreams. Okay, perfect. You are going through um, a, a return, a birthday return, and the first card you get is the death card. Now, this doesn't mean you're going to drop off the planet. This means that the death card means that there's, a new, there's an ending and a new beginning. So you can hold it in your heart and expect this new beginning to come about. The next card is the Queen of Cups. It's like you're wearing, imagine yourself wearing a new outfit that's bright and that's flowing and that it's uh, feminine and receptive. And you are now open to receive the fulfillment of your desires. Uh, and the other card is the burning oak. And they're saying, Julia, be careful what you wish for because you're going to get it. Okay? This is the tower card uh, where everything seemingly turns topsy-turvy in your life. But then so the phoenix can be burnt away to the ashes so that the new can can come in. And because it's your birthday, let's go to the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms card by Colette Baron reed And I'll pull you one extra card here and see what birthday message is on this one. This one is, there we go, the Eagle King, the big picture. And the big picture is all about angelic help. And they want you to they want you to dream bigger than you have been dreaming. Um, this is a sign that your destiny is within your reach. You're on the right path, even if you can't see where you're going. The eagle soars high, and they want you to dream much bigger than you've been dreaming and let go of all expectations, which is what today's show is about. This is a fortunate omen that you've drawn this eagle king to be your ally, uh, ally and to open yourself up 
to all kinds of angelic help coming in for you. So it's going to be an amazing birthday year for you. Um, and uh, you they definitely want to know that you're on the right path. So I hope that's been helpful for you, Julia. Beautiful. Thank you so much. It's wonderful. Thank you. Take Yay. care. <laughs> Yay, and happy birthday again. Sending lots of love. Take Thank care. You. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. <laughs> And that just about wraps up the show for today. Thank you to all my callers. Thank you to the, my many listeners. Please go out and buy the Amazon Kindle download version of this book as it's being relaunched today. And that's only for the ridiculously low price of a dollar on Amazon for iPads, iPhones, smartphones, and tablets. And to go on the wonderful adventure of myself, Ariel. And then when I enlighten to become the angel I am today, which is Angel Ariel. And until next time, please do allow your radiant light to shine forth and go out and fashion a beautiful life for yourself. Love and angel blessings as always. And I'll speak with you again next week. Take care. Bye. Mm-hmm.